In the novel The Secret Garden, the main character, Mary, has to rely on a friendly robin to help her unlock the gate to the garden. But down in Mobile County, no amiable avians are necessary to get into Bellingrath Gardens. More than 60,000 people visit to see the magic Christmas and lights display every December, and tourists eagerly anticipate the azaleas blooming in spring. But if Christmas lights and azaleas are all you've experienced of Bellingrath, then maybe there are some secrets left for you to discover. As autumn dawns in the south and trees lose their leaves, it's time for the cascading chrysanthemums at Bellingrath Gardens to start showing off. Bright colors. I, I, that's my thing here. I'm in charge of color. So, and these are always just the brightest colors. I, I mean, I love the pastels typically used in the spring, but this is wild, you know, bright oranges and yellows and reds and purples. It's just, you can't beat it. Inspired by the Cascading Mum Show at Longwood Gardens in Pennsylvania, Bellingrath lays claim to the country's largest all-outdoor show of these flowing flowers. There are probably 12 different varieties of these that we're using right now. And uh, generally the show, it, the Mum Show, is from, for the month of November. It varies a little from year to year, but safe numbers would be on the line of 500 Cascades, uh, 120 columns, a handful of the orbs that you'll see uh, lining the Great Lawn and hanging from some of the trees in front of buildings. The flowers tumble from bridges and terraces. The courtyard of the Bellingrath home is a perfect spot to appreciate the beauty of the dangling blooms. The home is part of the lasting legacy of Walter and Bessie Bellingrath, who first opened their gardens to the public back in 1932. They opened it to the public on an April Sunday afternoon from 1 to 5, put an ad in the paper, and the story goes that 4,700 people showed up down here. It was the worst traffic jam they would ever seen in Mobile County. It would be another few years before the Bellingraths started construction on their beautiful 10,500 square foot home with its 15 rooms. The architect designed this house so that when you approach it, you have no idea how big it is. So it's just the opposite where you have these other houses where you go on a long drive and here you were just overwhelmed by this huge house. You come on the smallest, lowest wing of the house and come around and it's like the gardens, there's a surprise. When you come in and see this vista of the huge living room then through the dining room, you know, 30 foot dining room, you, you just don't expect it and, and it's a nice surprise. As we Southerners like to say, back porch guests are best and the view of the Fowl River from the Bellingrath home back patio is breathtaking. Even though Bessie and Walter Bellingrath passed away in 1943 and 1955, respectively, the couple with the green thumbs certainly left a lasting mark on the landscape of Mobile County. You hear all these stories and you really get a warm for them. And you feel part of them. You feel they're here. And we try to keep the house as if they just stepped away. And not like it's, you know, to make it feel warm. And we're charged to maintain this house and these gardens as quote unquote a fitting and permanent memorial to Mrs. Bellingraph. So he said these gardens were her, were her dream. And her dream continues to blossom every month of the year, from camellias and roses back to the beautiful cascading mums. Bellingraph Gardens is renowned for having colored uh, 52 weeks out of the year. About the mums, I, I wish more people would come to see them. They're worth looking at. And it's not something that you're gonna see just anywhere. So if, I had anything that, that would be, I wish more people would come to see them. And I think that um, most of our, our patronage, most people come to see us during Christmas. And you know, from a horticultural standpoint, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> there's so much more to this place. <laughs> it takes the Bellingrath Garden staff more than nine months to train and grow the cascading mums they display. The gardens also host other special events, including a Camellia Classic Car Show, annual orchid sales, Boo at Bellingrath, and an Easter egg hunt. It's easy to know what's in bloom at Bellingrath. Just follow them on Facebook for the most up-to-date information. When Simply Southern continues, Kevin Worthington is out on an Alabama farm, asking the questions that many of you, our viewers, want the answers to. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. 
Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes on to the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. Farm Bureau Bank has built its entire existence around the lifestyle and needs of farmers and ranchers across America. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. From sunup to sundown, we are committed to serving you. Seriously? Have some respect. Pick it up, man. Did you just litter? Take pride in your school. Pick it up, man. Clean it up, dude. Besides keeping your campus clean, adopt a mile with Roadside Cleanup. Attend the next Coastal Cleanup Day or pitch in on the annual Spring Cleanup Campaign. Make a difference by picking up litter and... Don't drop it on Alabama! I take pride in the product that we produce as a catfish farmer. Hi, I'm Willard Poe and I'm the 2019 Alabama Catfish Farmer of the Year. When I go out to a restaurant and see people eating U.S. farm-raised catfish, you know, that, that gives you a sense of pride and a sense of joy, uh, knowing that, you know, you have produced a product that uh, other people, you know, enjoy. Other people love to go out and eat.